or move on to next season. So right now it's get back and recover and get back to training and try and get in a couple meets over the summer, try and lay down the time, show that I'm physically fit. They know what I can do on relays. They've seen in the past uh, pin relays running 44-5 uh, from behind. and So they know what I can do there. I just need to show them what I can do right now after, after this weekend and uh, just give myself a chance and let them make the decision. How tough is it being in that lane? I mean, it's, you know, you know uh, it, it's more of a mental thing than anything. Uh, you train in lane one 90% of the time. Uh, especially we do. We train it in, in probably about 95% and 98% of the time. But you run relays in it. You know, it's no different than running a relay. It's just all mental. You gotta tell yourself, it's just 400. Everyone's gotta deal with the same elements. Yeah, it's a little tighter turn, but it is what it is. Like I said, I tried to run it just like a relay. That was my goal. That was me and Coach Hart's strategy was go out there uh, and just try and catch everybody one, one at a time. I felt like my first 100 was great. Uh, I set myself up good at the two, was making my move a little bit, but uh, when I tried to pick it up coming off the curve, I felt something a little bit overstrided, stumbled, and that was it. Uh, it's part of the game, it's part of the track and field. Uh, cramps, injuries, overstrides, everything like that. One misstep and you're done, uh, especially in these sprints, you know. Uh, so, you know, you just go with what, what happens, and, you know, you got to move forward and, and get, get ready for the next one. And, you know, ho hopefully, uh, my wife, who's getting me in the meets this year, hopefully she can get me in a couple this summer <laughs> and, uh, you know, get back out there and try and get back down to the 44s and show them what I can do. I felt good today, and, uh, you know, things happen. Right. So is it a cramp or a strain? Or? It, it's more of a cramp than anything. Uh, I don't think I strained anything. I'm walking just fine. I don't feel anything. I think it was just when I uh, when I misstrided. I think it kind of just grabbed just a little bit, and uh, you know, kind of made me stumble. And you know, from there on, you know, it's kind of hard to get back in the race. But uh, especially at that point. Where was it? Uh, right at about 290, 295. Where your body? Oh, about mid to low hamstring. Uh, Which leg? Yeah. Uh, Which leg? Uh, right leg. Right leg. Uh, you know, I had the same thing in uh, about four weeks ago at practice uh, on one of my runs, but it took me like three, four days to get back from it, and I was racing again, competing and practicing again. So I think it's going to be about the same situation. Uh, you know, good luck to everybody that made the final. Uh, Tony McQuay looked real good today. He PR'd, and uh, you know, I hope the top three are our best top three that run. You know, I hope they run something fast tomorrow and show the world. You know, U.S. 400 runners are, are here, and we're coming for you. You ever talked to Sonia about, you know, this is definitely her last year and you're getting near the end? You know, uh, I, my, my, uh, my mentality was a little different than hers this year. You know, she wanted it to be her last year, and that's why she announced it the way she did. Uh, she, she wants to start a family. Uh, she's done, had an amazing career. She's done a lot in her career, won gold medals, won American records. Uh, this was her way of, of, you know, giving it all her hat, all she had the rest of the year. You know, she wanted to make sure that she ran, she trained as hard as she could, she made the team and then won medals. You know, my, my thing is I don't want to call it the last year and then get to that point and say, you know what, I, I'm taking that back, I'm gonna try and run next year. I'm gonna leave it up in the air, like I said, and wait till the end of the year and then make my decision. Uh, I don't want to come here and put a lot of pressure on myself saying this is my last chance, this is my last race of the year, I have to do something or it's done. I didn't want to do that to myself, I didn't want to put all that pressure on my back. I just wanted to come here, relax, run the best I can, and give it all I had and move on and move forward and see what happens for the rest of the season. What do you think is the biggest difference between now and when you're sort of in your prime? Uh, I think a lot of it was I was never injured early in my prime. You know, uh, I was consistent every year. You know, I got to a certain point and then the next year I built on that. These last four years, you know, I would get to a point back and then an injury would happen and I'd take steps back and have to try and build that back. And, you know, trying to do that every year takes a lot of, a lot of effort and a lot of strain on your body. Last year was the first year I finished the season healthy and I was able to build on that this year. I felt like this, this race, this final, I would have been mid to low 45. I don't know if it would have been enough to make it, but you know, I was, I was where I wanted to be at. I had good position and uh, you know, things happen. And uh, I just, I'm glad I gave it my all. I ran a great 300 and one little misstride did it. But uh, like I said before, I'm gonna go back, uh, recuperate and uh, start training and see if I can get into a meet, if not, then this would probably be my last race of the season if I can't get in races for here the rest of the season.